Oh, hello you guys this is your girl how to cook like nadine okay so today i'm gonna show you guys how i cut my whole turkey this is a nice premium young turkey all natural gluten-free no preservatives no steroid so um i am an advocate for home cooked meals for you guys that know me uh i am really passionate about what i do i love to cook cooking is my passion um i love to teach and inspire others to build that kitchen confidence that they need in the kitchen. So, I don't know if you guys know how to cut a whole turkey, literally. Okay, because I know um, Christmas is right, is right around the corner. I don't know if you guys like it whole or cut. Like in my household, I like mine cut and stewed. I do not like it whole. This is my preference and my family preference as well. So today we're going to start, oh, first of all, before I even start, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, um, like, comment, and share. Um, it's really important for you guys to subscribe. That way when I do upload any videos, you guys get the notification that is uploaded. And if you haven't followed me on my other social media pages, which is my Instagram, where I post my food display, please uh, follow me there. The link should be in the description box below. So go ahead and click the link. Um, it's at Nadine underscore kitchen underscore be lit on Facebook is Nadine kitchen be lit. All right. So let's begin. Shall we? All right. So we're going to start. Hey, I'm mommy's little helper. And today I'm going to learn how to cut a whole turkey. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, you guys. So this turkey is not that big. It's really, like I said, it's young. So it's really small, which is good for me right now. So you always want to start with the wings and the legs. Really easy. You, you always want to cut that part out first, all right? That's how this look like. Ah, okay? I know some of you looking like, oh, my God, it looks so nasty. But it's a must. Somebody got to do it. So you're gonna need a nice sharp knife and just make sure it's not too sharp because you do not wanna cut your finger. Let me see. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, right? Okay. So this is a turkey wing. So the turkey wings usually are bigger than the chicken wings. So that's always. See that part? You're gonna make sure you cut that part out. The excess skin need to go. So this part right here, you're gonna cut it out because you're always gonna need a kitchen scissors, okay? Really important, very easy. It's easier to do with a kitchen scissors than a knife when you're doing that. You're gonna cut the little tip out. This little tip, see that part right here? You're gonna cut it out. This one is really easy to um, clean. This one doesn't have bloody veins like that, so I don't see none. All right, and it has hair. You pluck the hair out. As I'm as I'm cleaning this um, whole turkey, I already have my uh, I, in a pot. I have water, parsley, cilantro. Um, I have one lime and thyme in there boiling that way when i'm done i can pour over my turkey wings after it's done cleaning which is a must when you're doing that okay it's a must for your meat turkey chicken goat pork that's a must all right so this one pretty easy that's it and then you're gonna take your knife you're gonna run it right here see this part the reason i'm slicing my um meat because you want all that salt and vinegar lime and mojo to go on the inside okay because that's a pretty thick meat because when you bite into your meat you want to taste all that deliciousness in there okay and that's it you want your knife through here and there see all that juice gonna go on the inside okay I go hard for the meat because the meat make um, the meal, actually. That's why I really go hard for you guys to learn how to clean the meat. Once you master how to clean the meat, then everything else should be easy because the meat is the hardest part to do. 
is cleaning your meat, marinating it well, and cooking it. That's the hardest part. So once you master how to do that, then everything else should be pretty easy. That's why I really go hard for the meat first to learn how to clean it, cook it. Same thing you're gonna do for this one. Take that part out. Little tip, take it out. And I can look at it, there's no bloody veins. Good. So the wings is really um, long and big. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break it in the middle. See? Into two pieces. So you don't want that long thing on your plate. So now you have, so now you have two, which I'm gonna do the same for the other one too. See, this is why the kitchen scissors are really important to have, make everything so easy. And once you're done with them, you put it in the other pot, then have your lime juice, all that stuff that is soaked. So while you're um, cleaning this whole turkey, your water is boiling and your the um, piece of uh, turkey that you already cleaned is already um, cleaning with the, all that good salt and mojo and vinegar. All right, so I'm gonna do the leg now. All right, let's begin. That's why your knife needs to be really sharp. You gotta be careful because you do not want to cut your finger. All right, now you're gonna finish it with the kitchen scissors. All that extra jelly on the skin, you do not want that. Just remove that part out. See, you don't want that, that little jelly. All right, all that extra skin, remove. Right there on the top, that's like a piece of fat. You're gonna remove that part out with your knife, be careful. Make sure you position, you hold the chicken leg right here underneath, not on top, because you're gonna cut your uh, finger right here. And then use your kitchen scissors to do the rest. All right. And then you're gonna run your knife right here. I hope you can see it well, right here. See? because you wanna get all that vein out. Handy, handy, kitchen scissors. You're gonna cut that part out. It's all that vein, trash. Finish the rest. Finish the rest. All right, use your knife again, cut that part out really easy. All right, and of course, it have a nice big long vein here. All that bloody veins, you wanna take that part out right here, open it a little bit, remove the bloody vein out. Any extra jelly, you want to remove it out. Use your hand to kind of remove it out. Then you're going to take your knife on one side, you're going to run it here. The other side, you're going to slice it. Same thing for all that extra limes, sour oranges, vinegar, mojo to go to get on the inside. All right, and you're going to Drop it on your other bin with all that good marinated and stuff, see? While you're cleaning, this is soaking. All that good deliciousness getting in on the inside. All right, same thing for the other one, very easy. Right, 
you're gonna remove all that extra jelly skin. Remove that part out, we don't need that. Don't eat that. All that extra skin fat, don't eat it. We're gonna do the same thing for this. Use your knife and then kitchen scissors, cut that piece out. That's like extra fat on top. I don't know if you saw that, if you can see it. Same thing we did with the first one. You're gonna stick your knife right on the inside so you can remove all that vein. Be careful with the hands. Are you learning? Mm-hmm. Any question? What happens if you don't take out the veins? Why? Well, her question is, what happens when you don't take out the veins? Nothing really happened besides, I mean, when you're, when you're serving food to yourself or anyone, you want to make sure you properly clean your meat. Nobody want to eat a chicken leg with all that vein in there or bloody veins in there. So... That's the proper way to clean it. You want to remove that part out. See, so yeah, now I'm gonna remove all that bloody vein out from the inside, which is important because you do not want it to, whoever's eating your food. While they bite into it, you're gonna see that bloody vein is gonna look like after it's cooked, it's gonna look dark on the inside. Okay, it's really easy. See, now you're gonna slice one side, and slice the other side with a knife. Run your hand through it, get all that extra jelly out. And my friend, that's it. See, all that nice sour orange is gonna get on the inside. All right, so that's now. And on the inside, it's always going to have the turkey neck. Nothing wrong with it. You can actually um, leave it and cook it. You don't need to do nothing. It's already clean. Sometimes if you buy a big, big turkey, um, it's going to have like a lot of fat around it. Just remove the fat out and then place your turkey neck inside of the bin with all that other marinating stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna remove this part out after this. Okay. All right, so the part I just removed should have the turkey breast. You wanna make sure you remove the turkey breast. You're gonna know it because it's really, um, it's not thick. Move all that extra fat. Move that part out. All that extra fat, we don't need that. On the inside, you're gonna see all that white Grease, remove it. And this one is big enough, so you wanna, you can cut this into two pieces because you don't want that big old turkey piece. You want a nice size turkey. And all that extra jelly on the skin. Go ahead and remove that out. Use your knife. Slice your turkey meat on top, and that's it. This one, all the bloody veins on the inside. See? Move that part out. Same thing, this one is done. All right, and do the same thing for the other side. 
So you, because you want to remove all that part out first before you cut the turkey open. Because you do not want that to get in the, in the way. What I'm doing right now, I'm removing all that extra fat, grease that's on here, all that slime that's on here. You do not want that. Remove all the slime, all that jelly that's on there, clear jelly that's on here. All right, so the chicken breast, I mean the turkey breast, I'm removing. Remove the turkey breast. All that extra vein, I'm removing. See, vein, bloody veins. Don't eat that. If you are a beginner, so be careful with the knife so you won't cut yourself. Should be good. Should I cut this? Because I know it's going to shrink. Mm -hmm. See? So now this is good. All right. All right, my friend, my little helper. Do me a favor, come to this side and start rubbing the lime into the meat. Go ahead and wash already, all that good stuff. All right, so what she's going to do right now, she's going to rub the lime and sour oranges on the meat while it's sitting, okay? That's really important. Don't just squeeze the lime juice and that's it. Use the lime and rub it on there. So now we're gonna cut this open. See, now that's the only thing that's left now, right? You're gonna run your knife here so you can cut this open. Now you can actually use your hand actually to cut this open. use a turkey butt the bow tops I remove that part out see remove this part out remove it out remove Right, you're gonna finish cutting this part out. Be careful with the knife. to do some work with your um, hands too, just to get all that part taken apart. Use your kitchen. No battery. Where are your hand already? Press the, sorry, sorry, close. All right. Sorry, you guys, my thing just showed low battery. Uh, rinse your hand, wash your hand, so you go plug it. Actually, let me hurry up before um, the battery run out. I don't want to disturb it. So basically, this piece is too big, so you wanna you're gonna cut it just a little bit. Your 
kitchen scissors to cut that part out. Be careful with the bones. You don't want that to poke, poke you. Done. Any fat, any veins, bloody veins, remove them out. You don't want that. Remove it out, remove it, remove it. All right, nice. I can break this. Nope, not break. See, look, look at all this. See? Extra skin. Remove all that out. All this. We don't need that. Alright, so now. We are going to remove the turkey breast out. We're gonna remove the turkey breast. Then you're gonna slice each side. It's the softer part of the meat. That's the, that's the breast. Don't need it. It's really soft. Okay. Remove that turkey breast out. You're going to do the same thing for the other side. Uh, let me see. All right, you're going to slice it. The minute you slice it, you should see it. And remove it. With your knife, it's really soft. Okay. See? No turkey breasts. Remove it out. All right? So now... You can actually start cutting the turkey meat into pieces. This is done. Nothing to it. Remove all that extra slime on here. Same thing for the other side. Start removing all that turkey um, meat. You should remove the breast out. If any extra skin, remove it. You don't need that for the extra skin. Sizzling can get in, inside. Actually, I'm gonna cut it. Get two piece. That was not too big. You don't want to cut it too small because remember, um, you're also gonna fry it. Once you boil it, then you know after you done cleaning, you pour the water over. You're gonna marinate it. Then you're gonna boil it. Then you're gonna fry it. So all that's gonna shrink the meat. So you don't want it to be too small nor too big. Jelly out. That's it. That's it. So now you should have your um the last piece is this. Let's see if I can break it or something. Yeah, you're gonna have to use your arm to kind of break this. But be careful for the extra bones that are, that way they don't poke you. Part is really easy to cut, it's really soft. Done, soak it in there. And then the rest, you kind of use your arm. You know, I hope you got some strong arm. Uh, if not, then you use your kitchen scissors to kind of see if you can cut this part out. This piece is a little hard. So 
this part, what I'm gonna do after, oh, there you go. I was just gonna leave it and then cut it after because you don't want that big old piece of meat in there like that. All right. Oh, sorry. See? And voila! That's it, you guys. Voila! That's it. A whole turkey. Done. Excuse me. Let me wash my hands and I will show you. So when you're done, this is how it's going to look. See? Done. A whole turkey cut. See, while you were cleaning, I mean cleaning and cutting, all this is already soaking, all that juice, lime juice, mojo is already on there soaking into your meat for you to get that nice delicious flavor that you're looking for, that delicious taste you're looking for, that's what that's going to do. Can you turn this on high for me? So now I'm turning my stove for the boiling water on high since I'm done now, it was on low. So I'm gonna leave this until the boiling water is boiled because I want it to taste really, really good. And don't be afraid, since it's already in the married, like the mojo and all that, don't be afraid. You can actually taste it to make sure the salt is okay. Because you need to taste your food because you're going to taste it. How are you going to know if it's, the salt is good or not? All right, so now, that sour oranges. Got to get all that on the inside, okay? Your wings, all that. That's a must. Don't just squeeze it on there and that's it. Use all that, see? The line, baby, when I tell you, your meat gonna be good, your food gonna taste delicious because once you start the process like this, there's no way you can ruin this meat unless you didn't marinate it well, unless you put too much salt on your meat, because once your food is salty, honey, that's it. You can't do nothing else with that. That's just trash. So you gotta be careful with your salt. I used to have a problem with that way back then when I was younger, when I started. I've learned to master that, thank God. And now, it's easy breezy. Delicious meal. Everything looks so nicely cut. So beautiful, soaking in that nice sour oranges, marinade, all that good stuff. Okay, and that's it. That's all it is. I Listen, I hope this video was helpful because that's really big to actually learn how to cut a nice size whole turkey by yourself. Listen, I had learned to master that. It's not easy, okay? So like I said, start with the wings, the legs, then the, the how would I say that? The other part that's on the side of the meat. Turkey thighs? Yeah, turkey thighs. So start with those. Once you remove all that part, then you give the turkey the freedom for you to open it. Okay? And you have a nice sharp um, scissor and knife because you're going to need that. The scissors really make it really easy for you to just cut through. And if you have any hair, pluck them out. Any extra skin, any bloody veins, remove them out. Um, what else can I say? Make sure you slice your meat. That way, when you actually soak them in their nice cleaning process with the vinegar, it actually get on the inside. Um, when you slice your um, sour oranges and your lime, always remove the the some of the um, lime juice and sour orange juice. See? I don't know if you can see it. Always remove that out. Because when you marinate your meat, now you're going to use some of that. You're going to pour over your um, um, turkey uh, meat okay for that extra kick okay that extra kick all right so it's again i say cap garden my video sa se pour nous tout si nous pas connait qui j'ai pour nous couper on 
on, on code, on go code. Video ça c'est pour nous ka garder li, si li aide nous, um, écris en bas comme maintenant, dis-moi ça li fait pour si li, si li aide ou. Si nous voulons uh, subscribe, subscribe notre chaîne là pour nous ka ouais plus plus vidéo qui m'a plagé la dani. Um, ça c'est un go qui un go code, nous m'en prenons, nous m'en li pour faire petit. Um, Piti. Ok, moi tout je dis qu'on commence avec zèle code nan, après ça pied ya, après ça pour le cas ouvert en dans code nan pour nous retirer ça la dèle pour nous ka kasse li. Toujours gen yon, yon couteau qui file, pas tellement file pour couper, mais on va filer pour ka faire manger ya, pour ka couper yon nan pi bien. Um, Toujours gen yon ciseau pour en cuisine nan, pour nous ka la pi facile pour nous pour nous ka um, couper yon nan, ok? Moi, je souhaite que la vidéo soit bon pour nous. Si vous avez des questions, je parle en anglais pour moi. Je ne parle pas en anglais, donc c'est ce que c'est. J'espère que je suis capable de faire ça. Parce que sur comment cuisiner comme Nadine, je le fais de la bonne façon. Je vais vous montrer les étapes correctes sur comment cuisiner votre meat. C'est très important. J'espère que vous avez pris des notes. C'était utile pour vous. Commentez, partagez, like, subscribez. Dites-moi comment cette vidéo était utile pour vous. All right, and that's it. That's all it is. That's it. That's nothing else. Sour oranges, lime, salt, vinegar, mojo. That's what you need to for the cleaning process first. Okay. Remember, no, not too much salt. After that, your boiling water, parsley, cilantro, thyme, and one lime. Squeeze. Let it boil really well to get all that parsley, cilantro flavor on there, and then you're gonna rinse this out with. You can rinse it with cold or hot water. Rinse it out, take all that extra stuff out, and then you're gonna pour your water over. Let it sit for a good, I say five, 10 minutes. Let it sit on there, especially the turkey meat. Let it sit, okay? That way it can be nicely um, chaudé. That's how you call it in Creole, chaudé viennant. Pour qu'à bien chaudé viennant. Avec tout bon et pesti pour un tin citron. Pour qu'à bien prendre goût, okay? Let it finish. You gotta rinse it with glue on top to get rid of all extra skin, extra whatever is on slime that's on there. For no ka marinate vienna. La marinate vienna with good epis glue. Okay, that's the Haitian home base spices that we make at home. Um, with um good piment, with good large pile, nice garlic. You're gonna marinate your meat with some nice garlic, crushed garlic, parsley. You can crush it all together. Um, a piece that's the homemade spice. You're gonna add just a little bit of that mojo marinade on there. Use your lime juice as well to pour over it. Also, your scotch bonnet sauce, onion powder, gar garlic powder. Um, what else? Season up powder if you have that. If you're someone that uses Maggie cubes, you can add it on there. If you do not use Maggie cube, you do not have to. There's other spices you can use that don't have the that's vegan. You can use on there. It's up to you how you like your meat. But I was just showing you guys how to cut a whole turkey. So you can choose however you like to marinate it to do that. I'm just giving you what I use on there. And what else you can use? Try to think. Some black pepper. You can use that on there. And then once you're done, you really marinate it, prep it real nice. And you just let it sit. Um, you can let it sit in the fridge overnight if you're cooking it the next day. Um, if you're not cooking it, if you're cooking it the same day, just leave it room temperature for a good hour. Good hour. It's going to be really nice, really good. If you're not in a hurry, you can leave it for two hours if you're not in a hurry. Okay? Or more. It's up to you. But the longer it sits in that, all that juice that marinated, the better the meat going to taste. Okay? Anything you want to add for the people? You sure? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, I thank you, my little helper, for helping me. She's always been my little helper, you guys. So, the idea is to bring your kids to the kitchen with you to learn how to cook, okay? So, when I'm cooking, when I'm doing any type of cooking, I always make sure my kids come in the kitchen with me. And she always been my little helper since she was a little hey high, and she's still doing that because I encourage her to learn how to cook. I explain to her the importance of knowing how to cook a nice, delicious meal, not only in my house, but in her house too, when she have her own family. So let's practice doing that, okay? Let's make that a movement. Bring your kids in the kitchen with you to learn how to cook so you can practice with them and teach them something or two, all right? That's really important. Basic life skills such as cooking is really important. That's what my business is about. 
I'm here to motivate, to encourage you guys, inspire you guys to cook homemade, okay? I'm an advocate, advocate for home-cooked meals. I'm here to build your kitchen confidence one subscriber at a time, okay? And uh, my slogan is learn, practice, and pass it down to your children. That way, when they leave your house, they can take that with them so they can take care of their family. They can take care of themselves first and their family, okay? I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. Okay, this is your girl, Nadine Kitchen Millet. Peace.